My name's John, I'm a third year medical student for a couple more months and I'm a professional MCAT tutor and I run this YouTube channel and this MCAT company, Informing Future Doctors or IFD. But today what I'm gonna talk to you about are the two biggest weaknesses or mistakes that I see students make on the car section of the MCAT. And really what this video is great for is helping you figure out what the heck you're even doing wrong. Because I know for a lot of students and myself whenever I was studying included, Cars feels like this like black box of I don't know what the heck to do, but I'm going to help you figure out what's going on and talk to you about how we can fix it with intentional practice. Now the secret to doing well in cars, most of us know it, it's not a big secret. It is getting a solid main idea and then understanding how to apply that to you know 80 to 90% of the MCAT questions. And then for the other questions that ask for you to specifically refer back to the passage, just being adept enough at understanding arguments and how those arguments fit into the overarching picture, you can score really well on cars just by knowing those simple things. But getting a good main idea is not easy. And there are two fatal mistakes. The first one is that you are either too slow or you are too wrong. So let's talk about what each of those mean. Someone that's too slow is an individual that can get a good main idea, but it might take them 10 or 15 minutes to do so. It just takes you a while to read through the passage and kind of like think through it and figure out what the author was trying to get across. And too wrong means it's just hard to read that passage and figure out what the heck they're talking about. You know, they're rambling on about grass or paint or some Victorian war that you don't really care about. That actually, those all sound more interesting than what's actually on the MCAT. But regardless, it's difficult for you to grasp a hold of that 600 word essay and condense it down into a good sentence or two that encapsulates everything that's going on and what the author is trying to get across. We have a lot of good videos about how to get a good main idea and what goes into a good main idea, but this video is talking about what can get in the way of you getting a good main idea. So the first step is to figure out which one of these buckets you fall into. Are you too slow? or you do wrong. My favorite way to do this is have students go through and take a couple practice passages without taking the questions. So just read through the practice passage untimed as long as you possibly need until you feel like you have a great main idea that you could put in front of my face or Maggie, the other tutor on this channel's face and say confidently, this is what this passage is about. So that's the next step is to take a practice passage for the main idea. So we're going to do this with no time restrictions, but we're going to record how long it actually took you so we can figure out if you're too slow or too wrong. Once you've got that great main idea written, then you need to reference it to a main idea that you trust. And that's why I would recommend using either the AMC sample exam or the AMC FLE5 and you can reference back to one of Maggie or I's videos on this YouTube channel where we go through and we talk to talk you through the passages and then we always write out a main idea at the end of that. So I think it's a great idea. Get the WMC sample test, read a passage, time how long it takes you to get a solid main idea and then compare that to either Maggie's or my main idea. Now, then you ask yourself, was your main idea right? Well, you might be too wrong if it was incorrect. Well, maybe you got a great main idea, maybe it's similar to ours, or maybe it's even better than ours because that's definitely possible, but it took you, you know, eight minutes. Well, now you're too slow. So now you know where you're starting. If you are too wrong, let's start with that one. If you are not as accurate at getting main ideas as you would like, you need untimed practice. So you need to get better at reading and reading comprehension. So take a ton of MCAT practice passages. UWorld is a great resource. You know, Jack Weston's good for this. Um, and, and most MCAT companies have good passages. Their questions aren't always great, but any, anywhere you can get your hands on a good passage is great. So you need untimed practice and you just need to try to get a good main idea. So you need reps, untimed practice, just reading the passage, writing a main idea. Just get some reps in. Now, if you're too slow, the drill that I would do to improve at this is to time how long it took you to read that first passage. And let's say it took you eight minutes. The next time you do a passage, I want you to set an actual timer for eight minutes. You've got to finish your main idea before then. The next time you practice a passage, I want you to set a timer for seven minutes and 55 seconds. The next time you take one, set a 
timer for seven minutes and 50 seconds. And just try to decrease how long it takes you to get through a passage by five seconds every single time you take a passage. And eventually you will be at the four minute mark, which is where you need to be to, be, to have enough time to effectively give to the questions and think through them and reference the passage when you need to. Now, if you have no clue what I'm talking about with the main idea, then make sure to go on our strategies playlist and read the uh, condensed to main ideas strategies because that'll really help you out. So if you are not doing as well on cars and you have no clue what's going on, then check and see if it's your main idea is the problem. And the way that you do that is by taking a practice passage, comparing it, comparing your main idea to Maggie or I's, and then figure out, you know, am I too slow or am I too wrong? And then I've given you appropriate drills for if you are either too slow or too wrong. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the, to the channel. We're almost at 10,000 subs, which is pretty wild. We appreciate your support. We read your emails, we read your comments, and we're so thankful that you are letting us be a part of your journey to your white coat, to your MD or your DO. We don't take it for granted. I know it's very special and the ability to impact so many patients through you is one of the whole reasons that we started IFD. You know, Maggie and I, even if we have a busy practice, the most we're ever gonna be able to see every single day is 40 patients. That's the most people we can impact per day. But if we can help instill some good values, some good thought processes through the MCAT in you, then not only can we see our patients, but there's a part of us that can see yours too. So we believe in you. We are rooting for you, trust me, and I know that you can do this. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.